Is that a Volvo? Interesting. What's up guys, it's Drifts and Lifts here. Welcome back to the Drifts and Lifts Epic Volvo Drift YouTube channel. All right, so today there's gonna be an ass load of Volvo gravy. Um, so we are at Sunday Fun Day right now. We're at the local spot in uh, California with a bunch of good dudes. Um, so today, we are going to the Hoonigan Burnyard and we're going for the Burnyard Spring Smash. So it's uh, the seventh today and we're hopefully gonna just lather Volvo gravy all over the yard. I'm gonna take like my pitcher and pour it and I have like a, you know, like a, like a shovel. I'm gonna scoop it up and throw it everywhere. And uh, yeah, it should be a good day. So we're gonna take my Cummins, we're gonna tow miss off all the way to the burn yard. That's like, I don't know Anthony, like two and a half hours away? Yeah, about two and a half hours. Okay, so we're gonna go for a little cruise and then uh, that's basically gonna be the video of today, guys. And then hopefully I will get featured on Hoonigan after the fact. We'll see how it all goes out. Um, but yeah, basically I have to slay the burn yard good enough in Miss Huff, do enough wall taps uh, that they're like, yo, we want to do a, another video on you. So uh, right now, we're gonna take my man Johnny's the Volvo 960. This thing is bone stock. Um, it's got, I think it has a G80 locker, but it doesn't have the locker mod. So it's like, again, bone stock. Um, I'm gonna slap the GoPro on and we're gonna see if we can do like one circle drift in that cul-de-sac down there. Let's do it up. Oh God, it's probably gonna break. <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. <laughs> I think low is going to be the answer. No. <laughs> it's going to need a flick. I don't think it's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna happen. <laughs> oh, it's hilarious. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, guys, so, nah, can't do it. Not enough diff lock, not enough uh, front tire grip, and yeah, that's about it. <laughs> so we're gonna watch some other people drift real quick here. Uh, so Josh, what do we uh, what do we got here? So we got some cool TF Works outers that just like broke for no fucking reason. You know, this stuff was like flit away from the mound, so I didn't die. Yeah, I'm glad you didn't die as well. <laughs> so we got my man Anthony going down there, and he's gonna get a new outer for you, and and some tools, and maybe a jack. You guys need a jack? You almost don't, maybe. Yeah, I got enough angle, I can probably get it on. Yeah. We'll figure it out, I guess. So it gets good angle with no tie rod attached. <laughs> <laughs>
sick. All right, guys, so that's a wrap up of Sunday Fun Day. Off to Hoonigan Burnyard we go. Guys, so we're at the Hoonigan uh, Spring Smash, the Burnyard Bash Spring Smash, and uh, all of a sudden, Miss Huff will not start. So that's just awesome. Uh, we think it might be the coil, so we're gonna go to a junkyard and get a new coil and try to get this thing going before the event's over. Uh, it hasn't even started yet, so we do have a bit of time, but let's let's go get this thing going. All right, guys. So unfortunately, we are at the uh, the spring smash at the burnyard here, and I cannot, for the life of me, get Miss Huff started. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be burning. Uh, we tried a new hull sensor. We tried a uh, a couple new coils, a new ignition module, and I was texting back with Dan at Post Haste, and he said uh, those are the most likely things that are going to make it not run. Um, so we got some weird issue. I'm not too sure what it is. I'm kind of over messing with it for the day, uh, so we're just going to call her there. Unfortunately, I'm not going to get on Hoon again. Not the end of the world though, hey, you know, uh, worse things could happen. Anyways, we got my man Abraham here. How you doing, Abe? Uh, I'm doing great, man. Sick, man. So this is your Volvo 760? Yes, sir. My Dude, mobile. this thing is clean. Thank you. Sir. Yeah, man, it looks good. Yeah, you don't see too many of these 760s. So this this right here is just for all my, my Volvo purist followers. Um, yo, it's got like nice tint. Dude, this is a clean car. It's got the USA 940 760 front end. I actually never see this very often, the chrome outside of the grill with the black on the inside. How's the engine bay like, is it pretty clean? Uh, I didn't count, I did. it's all dirty. It's all dirty? <laughs> <laughs> we won't pop it then. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, nice car, man, it's really sweet. Thanks. Yeah, I like, I like all the chrome on the 760s. Like, see how they had chrome all down there? Like the, uh, more luxury. Yeah, these were really expensive from the factory. Um, okay guys, so we're just gonna go watch some burnouts and that's pretty much gonna be a wrap up of the day, I think. Um, I'm like really bummed right now, but hey, life goes on. Many more good things to look forward to. So uh, yeah, we'll leave it at that. All right guys, so it is a couple days later now. Um, I apologize for no video during the uh, the spring smash. We were in the parking lot the whole time messing with Miss Huff. Uh, it was like three and a half hours. I was on the phone and uh, going back and forth with Dan at Post Haste Performance. Uh, thanks to Dan for his mobile troubleshooting help. Um, but at the end of the day, we never got it going. Uh, Dan thinks it is a crank signal issue. Uh, so that means like probably a hall sensor. We did get another hall sensor from a junkyard that was close by and that one did not work as well. So I'm not too sure what to do guys. We're at my man Anthony's house here and I figured I'd end this video off. Uh, we're gonna do some work on the Cummins here. Um, I'm all the way in California and this thing needs to be really reliable to get me all the way back to Canada and go where I need to go. So uh, this thing's axle seal is actually leaking really bad. Um, every time I stop at like a grocery store, I'll look on the ground and there will be just tons of oil and you can even see all the oil build up on here. Like, like look at that. There's just oil everywhere. So this axle seal is right on its way out. Uh, me and Anthony are gonna pull them. I probably won't do like a how-to because it's unlikely you guys are ever gonna need to do axle seals on a, in a Dodge truck. And there is a really good how-to video on uh, YouTube. But uh, yeah, I figured I'd just show you guys this. Other than that, the Cummins is running uh, really good. Actually, it's funny, you can see all the oil that's being sprayed up on the fenders and stuff. Maybe that'll prevent rust, I guess, hey? <laughs> um, oh yeah, look at my lowering shackle. There it is, still hanging in there pretty good. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna finish this and then maybe we'll get up to some fun stuff today of some sort. I'll film on the, uh, on the GoPro here. And other than that, an awesome trip and I've enjoyed every last second of it um, lots of many many good friends to help me along the way so I appreciate all of those guys and girls that uh, have helped me along the way and yeah let's keep it flowing keep the gravy flowing alrighty guys so we fixed the wheel bearing 
on the truck. It is all good. Uh, we actually just drove like 100 miles uh, to my good friend Tony and Manny's house here. So, it's not every day that you get gifted and blessed with a free Volvo Turbo Manual Wagon. Uh, but that's actually what's happening today. So huge thanks to my man Tony. Huge thanks to my man Manny. Um, they have a lot of projects going on and they heard that I was down in California and they're like, yo, we want to gift this car to you. Uh, we want to see it on the channel so you can do some cool shit with it. So meet Bongwater Bill. Um, this is the name of this car. Uh, the previous owner about like what, like seven years ago or something like that, his name was Bill and the bong water just kind of came with it because this, this wagon looks like kind of bong water, I guess. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's got a little, little hint of must. Um, so this is a 1988, if I'm not mistaken, or an 89. So it's an 89. Uh, it's actually a 760. Um, it's not a 740, so that's kind of cool. And it has an M46 manual transmission. So um, it's an M46, right? It's not an M47. Yeah, it's, it's an overdrive. Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 M46. So uh, super cool. We're actually going to put it on the trailer with the Cummins. We're going to go to a junkyard and check out a couple more 740s for a couple parts, maybe for this thing. And um, yeah, we're going to keep our journey going. So uh, this is really cool, man. This color in, in the sun actually looks super nice. All right, guys. So part of today's adventure um, on drifts and lifts, Volvo Wrecking Yard Finds of North America. Uh, we have some random 740-1989 in this junkyard in California, Rialto here. Uh, this car, actually interestingly enough, was a 16 valve. As you can see, the head is already gone, um, but you can tell the, uh, the alternators, like the brackets are all different. And on the back of it, it even says 16 valve. And these are the GLE 16 valve wheels that this would have came with. Um, this car is pretty cool, actually. It has the Oxblood red leather interior. So uh, you don't see these too, too often. This is an interesting car for sure. So um, yeah, we're gonna strip a few parts off of this. Um, and then there's also another one over there we're gonna check out. All right, guys, number two of the North American Drifts and Lifts, North American Volvo 740 Junkyard Finds. Today we got a uh, 1989, I believe, 740 Turbo Wagon. This one has a smashed out rear window. 740 Turbo Winter Cooler. There's really nothing to it. It's actually like, it looks like it's pretty clean inside here at one point. Oh, weird. Yeah, okay, that's a nice black interior. Huh. Cool. All right, guys, so we are on our way back to Bakersfield with the wagon. Uh, 15 by 8 gang, because uh, we pulled out some random gas station here, and there's a random 15 by 8 wheel. I've actually had a set of these before, which is really funny. Um, these wheels look kind of cool on Volvos, actually. But uh, yeah, the, the holes for the lugs are all stripped out and all, all messed up, so it's just kind of funny. Just 15 by 8 gang everywhere we go. Um, super cool of Tony and Manny to uh, let us keep these wheels, man. These wheels like fit this wagon really well. Uh, they, look, they look really dope. They're actually um, 5 by 127, which is like a truck bolt pattern. So Manny and Tony were able to find spacers uh, so you can run the truck bolt pattern, uh, the 5 by 127 I believe. Um, so yeah, man, this thing's going to be cool. Hopefully you can get it running tomorrow. That would be really sweet. Um, that's pretty much a wrap of the video, I think, guys. Uh, yeah, free Volvo blessings in California from some good friends. Um, this is pretty cool. This car is going to be drifted, man. Um, and there's a bunch of goodies in the back. Like, they uh, they supplied us with, with the goods. There's, like, uh, some IPD springs. Oh, almost got crushed by that. Uh, yeah, no, these shocks aren't very good. They don't, this doesn't really like to stay up. Yeah, we got a distributor, IPD Springs, an M3 bumper for an E36. Um, maybe I'll try to sell that for a couple bucks or something. We got some, we got some spare rotors. These ones are actually brand new. Got some fuel filter, a grill, uh, a bunch of cool stuff. So huge shout out to the, these guys, man. Um, 
This is super, super cool. And the, just the fact that it's a 760 is also really cool because you don't really see, I've actually never seen a 760 manual wagon. Um, and this color is also really dope, man. This is the color that Lawrence was. Actually, uh, Tim is the same color as this car. I don't know, it looks really good uh, on a 740, this color. So we're gonna head back. Uh, I just got a coffee so I can stay awake. It's actually pretty late right now. And I think that's a wrap up of the video, guys. So uh, hopefully next video, we're gonna get this thing going. Maybe take it for some drifting. And I gotta figure out when I wanna leave California and go back to Canada, because I've already been here like two and a half, almost three weeks now. So this is getting pretty, quite a long trip, um, but it's been awesome. And uh, maybe hopefully I can get Miss Huff going and we can end up slaying the burn yard and getting in contact with Hoonigan. But if not, uh, still been an amazing trip and yeah, stoked about it. Like and subscribe for leaking Volvo fluids. Peace out.